problem number six, we're asked to evaluate this limit. Now, what we need to do to solve this problem is recognize that this limit is in the exact form of our limit definition of the derivative. Remember that that, that formula uh, is the following. We always take the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So you can see this problem that we were given lines up exactly with this formula. So remember that the limit definition of the derivative, this is the way of finding the derivative uh, using the limit definition, which simplifies to our other derivative rules that are easier, power rule, product rule, chain rule. But this is the, you know, essentially like the uh, core way of actually finding the derivative of anything is using the limit definition, the pure way. So what this limit is asking us to do is actually just to take the derivative of a function. So we just need to figure out which function it is, given this format. Should be pretty clear from writing these two right on top of each other like this, that the function that's being applied in our problem is the fifth root of x. Because here we're doing the fifth root of x plus h, here we're doing the fifth root of x. So essentially, this is asking you to just do what is the derivative of fifth root of x. And that's what we need to figure out. That should be pretty simple, though, to do by your power rule. So remember that fifth root of x can be written as x to the 1 fifth power. And to do that derivative, we can just do our power rule. So our derivative would be bring the power down, lower the power by 1, which would give us negative 4 fifths. And we can write that a little bit simpler and bring the negative power down to the denominator and write it as 1 over 5 times x to the 4 fifths. So that's the derivative of x to the 1 fifth, and that's actually just what this limit was asking us to do in the first place. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Resource Center.